Good morning everyone from a very wet dub for the NIBFA under 14's Cup quarter final between Linfield and Bambridge. The Blues getting us underway, attacking the goal to our right. The first shooting opportunity of the game fell to Linfield after this clumsy challenge on the edge of the area. Dylan Stewart lucky to avoid giving away a penalty. Nothing for Ross Watson and goal for Bambridge to worry about though, the ball going over the bar. Although that peace of mind wouldn't last long as an intricate move from midfield would lead to the opening goal. First Ewan McCubrey with a peach of a pass to Harry Foster who returned the compliment. McCubrey did the rest. Linfield 1, Bambridge 0. A determined run at the Linfield defence by Owen Wilson was to lead to a Bambridge equaliser. Nice work by Liam Vaughan who looked like he'd been fouled after squeezing the ball through to Taylor Hill, who despite looking offside, steered the ball past the Linfield keeper. 1-1. Linfield continued to put pressure on the Banbridge defence and came close with a corner. McConville not too far away with this header. Linfield were to retake the lead after Finton McDade was brought crashing to the ground on the edge of the box. The young number 10 stood up, and delivered this set pace. Watch this for a goal. Nothing Ross Watson could do with that. 2-1. Now on two previous occasions, Banbridge were lucky. With some dubious tackles on the edge of the box and not inside the area. This time their luck was to run out. And when Lee Whitten brought down McDade, the Linfield number 10 would slot the ball home. His second goal. Pure composure from the spot kick. Things were to get even worse for Banbridge as Linfield pushed forward. Nice skill first from number 17, Marky Norris, who beat three players. The ball eventually falling to Ewan McCubrey. And watch as his long-range drive was to beat the goalkeeper, perhaps just the slightest of deflections. That's Linfield 4, Banbridge 1. It's cup match starting to slip away from Banbridge, who haven't really been able to muster an attack from they got their goal. Linfield looking at different class and confidence flooding through the side as they pass the ball with precision. And when Harry Foster got his shot away just outside the box, Ross Watson saved the original effort, but only parried the ball to number five McClure, who scored with a tap in at close range. A long day at the office for the Bambridge lads. It was to get even longer. A Linfield move which started with their own keeper was hammered home by Harry Foster. A sweet right foot shot finding the back of the net. Linfield were to complete the rampage when a move on the near side was to see a further attacking masterclass when Foster led the ball to McClure, who in turn found Riley, and his cheeky effort coming back off the bar. Harry Foster ramming the ball home. It'll be a long drive up the A1, but it'll give the Bambridge boys some time to reflect on their cub exit, as it finished at Linfield 7, Bambridge 1. Yeah, we're delighted there, you know, in the NIB Cup for us, it's just uh, get a, get games against different teams outside of the league there. We've got a bit of an adventure, we've played about maybe three or four different teams from all over Northern Ireland and then, you know, in what we really want out of it is then the progress as far as we could and then maybe get a shot at one of the national league teams and see, show the boys what it's all about. Yeah, it was great there, it's, that's what we said, the guys are, those those type of games are, um, you don't want to be sitting after the match thinking, you know, in what if, what if, and if you do get a chance or if you do get the opportunity to try and get your strike on it and make sure you take the goal, it might make a difference and it might but if the game had a one tighter and you, you got those wee chances, you know, when you maybe get one or two chances and you take them, and thankfully we did get the goal, that does give the boys a bit of a lift there, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, it's, it's a great day. You know, I mean, the weather's not great, but it's a good day out for us there, and, and I'm sure the guys will enjoy it anyway. Oh, very, very pleased with a couple of guys out today. Um, we picked up a couple of injuries and stuff, so some of the our players had an opportunity or to showcase their talent today, and I thought they've done very well. Well, I think they did make a bit of a threat there towards the half, but to be fair, I think all the guys need to do was be a bit patient, and they were patient. I mean, the pitch was a bit wet and moist, and the, the, the ball was moving around very, very quickly, so I think the opportunity in front of goal came to us, but obviously because of the conditions, it was difficult to get that touch, but all in all, I thought the boys played very well and very patient. Um, credit has to go to Van Bridge. They worked extremely hard today as well, and created a, a few chances there in the first half. 
and it could have been different going into the second half. They could have been a couple up as well. But all in all, I think the boys done very well. The patience was very good and the passing and the movement was excellent today.